What is up guys? Every boater at one point or another has either used their smartphone or tablet to run some navigation apps and tools that you could use while out on the water. Well today I'm going to show you how you could turn your chart plotter into a tablet. If you've watched any of my videos when we traveled with our boat from New York to Florida or when we did the Florida mini loop you saw that I had my Android tablet up on the helm with me running Navionics and a whole slew of other apps that came in handy when I was up at the helm. I'm going to show you today there's a new device out called Helm Link that you could connect to your chart plotter such as a Garmin and you could run the same apps that you run on your Android tablet right on the Helm Link. Helm Link is a device that uses your internet connection whether it's Starlink or a hotspot on your cell phone and streams the apps right onto the screen of your chart plotter. You're able to use the touch features right on the screen and run all the apps. It comes in really handy. We're going to set it up today and play around with it and show you how it works out. First off, it's not often that we accept promotional items from manufacturers and developers to do reviews on their items. But this one was made specifically for boaters, and I could think of no better item to show my subscribers a little bit of the new technology that's out there to make our lives easier out on the water. So let's see what's in this box. As you can see, it's not that big of a unit. Slightly bigger than the palm of my hand. And it actually looks like a small mini computer, which I'm guessing that's pretty much what it is, with some additional features, of course. Here's the Helmlink unit. It has some coax connectors on the side. Looks like an on-off button. A whole bunch of ports. Looks like we have a data card there, a couple USB ports, uh, headphones, speaker jack, and who knows what else. But there's a QR code if you want to check that out. Also, what's in the box are a bunch of cables. We have a GPS antenna, which I would guess screws into one of those ports. We have a DC converter, which I suppose you could power the unit with AC if you have it. You could also power the unit, obviously, with DC, as most boats have 12 volt DC power. Here we have small Wi-Fi antenna. Looks like a standard USB cord and looks like a standard HDMI cord that I'm guessing this is what plugs into the char plotter itself. So pretty basic and pretty self-explanatory. The thing looks really easy to set up and surprisingly there's no instructions inside the box. When I reached out to the developer, Lee, he told me that it's so intuitive that you don't even need instructions. It's pretty much plug and play. So we're going to hook it up temporarily with the AC adapter today, just so we can get it online quick and show you some of its features and obviously learn it for ourselves. Here we have all the cords laid out. Just want to see what plugs into where. Here's your HDMI. This would plug between the helm link and the other end goes to the back of your chart plotter. We'll check that out in a little bit. You also have the USB connector, which also integrates with your chart plotter so that it gets the information from the touch screen. And so you have your power cord right over here, which we're gonna plug in temporarily to a regular AC outlet, just for testing purposes. Over here, we have your GPS antenna. Let's see. Does it say which one is the GPS? No, it really doesn't. One's bigger than the other. Let's see. What do you think? Good question. One appears to have a pin. This here is a, it looks like a female. And that seems to have a, yes, this has a male pin, so... The longer one gets the Wi-Fi antenna. I'm going to use the Wi-Fi from our house because we're really not that far away. So I could pick up the Wi-Fi from the router in the house. Yep, so that looked great. So now we could 
erector antenna. And here is the GPS, just to double check. That is a male and that's a female plug here. So that's the correct connection there. So yeah, pretty intuitive. I mean, uh, I guess it would help if they had it marked there because somebody may try to force it, but it wouldn't fit. So this is the GPS antenna. We're going to put this by the window up front and we'll find a spot to temporarily mount this as we make the connections to the chart plotter. All right, here we are at the helm of our 2025 Beneteau Antares 11. And we got the helm link just sitting up here. I put the GPS antenna in the clear under the window. And we have the wires just hanging down now. It's nice and easy to get access to our electronics right by here. And here's the back of our chart plotter. We just got to find where we need to plug all this in. It's only the two connections. Let's see what our connections are. We have. I'm looking for an HDMI. Where is it? Hard to see. Network. Now oh, there's the USB tucked in there. Uh, I don't know what that XDCR is. There's a couple of them. What's this? Is this? There we go. HDMI right there. HDMI out, HDMI in. I'm guessing we need to do HDMI in. I pulled off these waterproof caps so you can see here's your HDMI plug and there's your H, uh, USB right over here. So let's plug those cables in. Yep, that's it. All right, so we're temporarily plugged in over there. I'm going to run power to the unit. Okay, I just ran an extension cord because there's no outlet that's easily accessible right here. I think we're all connected there. And I believe I was supposed to turn on chart plotter before anything else. Uh, hopefully I'm in the bright USB port. I'm in the SS1. I guess it's, uh, I don't know if I should be in OTG. What do you think OTG stands for? I don't know. Let, let's turn on our electronics, give them a minute to power up. Okay, our chart plotter is fired up. All right, here we go. It was under video, and then I saw Helmlink come up. So let's see what it's doing. Yeah, we got no. Oh, USB touch out. Okay, so this is probably it. Let me turn USB touch out on, freeze off video setup. Uh, I guess so. HDMI main. Okay. Full screen off. Good enough. Back. Back. All right. Now let's see. There we go. Now we have stuff. You just do a swipe of the screen. You enable Bluetooth. Let's set up Wi Fi. There we go. Wow. When they say it's like a tablet, it's like a tablet. All right. I'm going to connect. I'm going to have to try to find. All right. Let me set this up. Okay, we are connecting to our home router. Uh, we are connected. So, all right, that's pretty neat. You swipe down. Uh, serial console performs impact check. Bootloader. Don't know what that is. Auto rotate. Don't need that. Hopefully, we never rotate the screen. Oh, there we go. Swipe up. Okay, look at this. Some familiar icons. I'll do a GPS test. All right, so we are getting accuracy within one meter. That's pretty good. All right, back. All right, let's go to YouTube. This is pretty neat. Let's uh, pull up our favorite channel. There we go. Look at that. We can watch our videos right on the tablet. Oh, right on the chart plotter. Okay, we figured out the audio thing. So there might be another way to do this, but I paired my Bluetooth stereo to the helm link, and now through the speakers, I could hear. Salesman Alex, I think he's here. I could hear the uh, the video, the audio on the video now. So. Uh, 
that's good. At least we could hear it and we have control of it. Here's our commercial. Okay, we're back to this. I hear myself. Okay, good. All right, so we had enough with just playing around with YouTube. So uh, let's get rid of this. How do I get rid of this? Oh, sorry. Should be a YouTube pro, right? All right, like and subscribe. Now let's go back to our main screen. And let's see, go up. Here's our Play Store. Let's try one of my favorite. Oh, I got to sign in. Okay, let me. I don't even, I haven't signed in in so long. I don't even know what my sign in is. Let's do that. Okay, we're all logged in. Let's install our first app. We'll do a search. Now, one that I really like is My Radar. And I think that would be great as an addition to this tablet. I also use other apps like Navionics and all of what we're going to get all into that. So let's install it. So right now this is installing the app on the Helmlink device. All right. Radar app is installed. Hopefully I don't have to go through any more setups. So you only have to go through all these installs once uh, for the first time, obviously. You can get weather forecasts. App toolbar, blah, blah, blah. Let's get through all this. Done. Okay, so here we are. Our radar app. Now, I use this on my phone all the time when we were underway to see live. Get out of here. Yeah, we can get this thing out of here. It's still loading. I don't know how to get rid of that. But uh, I'm going to zoom in. So we're on a wide screen, but... Here we are. We can see a storm front coming across. So now this is a live radar that's coming through the internet from the weather stations or weather radar, wherever they may be. We'll go back to our home screen. Let's see. We'll search. We got Navionics installed, and that's booting up right now. After some logging into our account, because we do pay for Navionics, I believe now it's up to like almost $50 a year which is ridiculous ever since Garmin bought it. Of course, they're trying to corner the market. But um, this is what it looks like on our tablet. And we can just zoom in. And it's starting to load all the maps as we get closer. Take a look at Naples, where we were. Probably going to take a little time to download all the maps. But there we go. Now we got some detail. So yeah, this is just like tablet app. Really nice. It has all the features, like if you want to look at pictures. The aerial shots, that's the Naples Inlet. That's pretty neat. All right, cool. So let's see. Let's go back to the main screen. And what other app do we want to install? Here we go. Windy.com install. All right. Windy is loading up. Here we are. Just like the app on the phone. All right. So there you have the wind. Zoom into our area. Tells you the wind currently. Over Cape Coral, we got 14 miles an hour coming out of the west. You could scroll to different days, so you want to see what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. We only have 9 miles an hour, 9 a.m. tomorrow, Tuesday. All right, cool. So there you have some of the basic functions of the Helmlink device. I think it's really cool to have right in your chart plotter capabilities that uh, you typically would only have with a smart device or a tablet smartphone uh, to integrate it like this with a small easy to set up device I, I tell you I really think it's a game changer especially for uh, the smaller boats that um, you know may not have a TV you now could use your uh, your chart plotter to watch videos um, you could use it to surf the internet uh, you could pull up 
Google Chrome and you can purchase something on Amazon, whatever you'd like to do. But um, it, it's really nice to have this integrated into the tablet, um, into the char plotter, and uh, to be a, a, a true multifunction device on your boat. So we're looking forward to testing this further. Um, I'm not a fisherman, so I heard there's really good fishing apps that you could have overlays and, and really get to the good fishing spots. Um, but maybe uh, some of you guys could chime in and I could check some of them out. But um, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the product and check them out online at helmlink.net if you want to look into this yourself. So uh, it's a new, relatively new device and startup company, um, that, that at least starting making this device. So definitely check them out. And if you're interested, put an order for one of these things. I think they're going for around the 600 range right now. So um, definitely a cool device to have on the boat and in an addition. I really love it for that radar app. It's nice to work. I have the 16 inch screen here. It's nice to uh, look at it while I'm driving right here. I don't have to fumble with another device. So uh, definitely a game changer. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. More to follow. We'll see you next time.